Matt, it looks hot. Matt, I know that you're talking about a little bit of relief, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen for a few more days, possibly into next week. Yeah, the full effect of it doesn't even hit till Monday. So even when this weekend you're thinking, hey, cold front comes in this weekend and you wake up Saturday morning and it still feels like an oven. It's just going to be that way. Even Sunday, maybe you're headed to get breakfast with your family. Maybe you're headed to church on Sunday. It's still going to be warm. Gradually, that north wind's going to come in. Fronts in, in August are very different than fronts in December. You know those winter fronts that come in? You can see temperature changes from you know 60 degrees down to 30 degrees in an afternoon. Fronts just aren't like that in the summertime. It takes a long time. North winds only five to 10 miles per hour instead of you know a winter front that can have north winds up to 45 miles per hour. So that's one reason why uh, cold fronts in the summer just take a long time. So it's gonna be a two to three day process for us to even cool down, but we'll take it because temperatures are gonna look a lot better next week. High pressure showing some cracks right now. Extra clouds filling in this bubble. We've been showing you this bubble all week. Remember earlier in the week, it was just pretty much clear, and even this weekend, pretty much clear. Even last week, pretty much clear. Uh, but we're getting some extra clouds. Even some of these showers from the remnants of Harold have been able to kind of meander a little bit farther away from the center of low pressure, which is located just southwest of Albuquerque. Uh, but this high pressure definitely shows some cracks, which is good news, and is also moving south and west. I think by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be sitting just near Flagstaff, uh, Arizona. And so once we've moved this dome, to the southwest, it's going to allow this cold front to kind of hop in from the north and then eventually drop south. You see some of that cool air coming in uh, right over Glacier National Park and right through Idaho, and this is the cooler air that's going to help us out next week. Until then, though, it's hot, so maybe you're headed to the Naturals game this evening. Boy, it's warm, but we do have a couple extra clouds in the sky, so sometimes you get a little bit of shade. Maybe you're headed to some of the county fairs going on tonight. Boy, it's hot, but it's still going to be fun. Just make sure you keep the fluids going. One way to stay, try to stay cool. In the River Valley, we're talking about temperatures in those mid and upper 90s for the next while. We may not even be getting out of the 90s until 10 o'clock, so it's going to be warm no matter where you are. So very toasty across five country. All right, waking up tomorrow morning, headed out the door. 70s across northwest, maybe even some low 80s in the River Valley as you're trying to start the day, and then more heat in the afternoon. We're headed towards 100. Some of us make it, some of us may not. Otherwise, it's hot. It's going to feel, though, close to 110. Again, like it's done day after day. Here's a look at Futurecast. You're going to notice a few extra clouds trying to pop up on Futurecast. And one thing that the models have a hard time doing with this extreme heat is they really want to pop up a shower. Uh, the problem is the high pressure may still be too strong in order to do that. So instead of having a lot of pop-up showers, I think we'll have more pop-up clouds. But the clouds help us out. And we'll have even more clouds as you push toward the weekend. And then by this weekend, the heat index will finally start to go down as those north winds come in. And in fact, scattered rain chances are on the way too. It's been kind of dry for the past week or so, but as this front approaches, our rain chances go up and the cooler air starts to move in. And so you see that drop going in the second half of the weekend and the next week, but we have multiple days of 80s planned for next week. We may start off with a few showers and storms though Sunday into Monday and then next week, Next be real nice. Yeah, at least the whole week could be that way. It probably That's will exciting. be. And this is a little bit longer lasting a front. Okay, good. So, the downside like of the 80s, though, is that you can't cook outside. <laughs> you can't. This week. Those eggs right. would be even more in stove again. There you oh, go. My. Thanks, Matt. Still ahead, a new study finds almost one in five stay-at-home parents are dads. We'll go dads. All right.